the territorial state in this in its present form is one of the main causes of the decline of the of the ummah and it has to go if you give the arab peoples their freedom mm-hmm. in egypt in tunisia in libya in yemen in syria in iraq elsewhere in the region probably one of the first things they would want to do is remove the borders we are approaching that point mm. we are definitely approaching we saw the first round of great arab revolutions in 2011 and now mm. we are seeing the sign of the second round mm. uh, algeria sudan and now egypt probably this will extend elsewhere eventually the revolutions will succeed and eventually the arabs will be united and this is the way that palestine mm. will be liberated so long as these regimes exist so long as the partition continues mm. israel will continue to enjoy uh, security and stability Mm. The most anti-Semitic people today in the world are the supporters of Zionism. Anti-Semitism and Zionism do go hand in hand if you're uh, not Jewish because they they want to get rid of the Jews yes. and they'll say okay you will deport you or you know help you get 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 out of this uh, This is what Christian so Zionism is about. Anti anti-Jewish, yeah. Christian Zionism is the most anti-Semitic trend in mm. the world. They believe that unless all Jews were sent back to their mm. Uh, to the to the land promised to them mm. their messiah would not come and then what comes what happens if their messiah comes of course there will never be a messiah it's all nonsense mm. uh, but what if let's assume a messiah comes what will happen they believe that he will kill the jews <laughs> or force them to become christians mm. can there be anything more anti-semitic than this our problem in palestine is not with the jews it's with zionism which is a racist ideology which is a colonial uh, tool uh, used in order to uh, serve the interests of mm. colonial power the apartheid regime in south africa came to the conclusion that it was not possible to continue the way they did they decided that all people who live in south africa are equal citizens whether they are black or white one man one vote and let's live in peace and let's coexist If the Zionists come to this conclusion, which means the dismantlement of the Zionist ideology, we have no problem. That will be the beginning of a peaceful settlement mm. of the problem. But we cannot make peace with people who claim that God gave them the divine right to take my mother's house and my father's land and to establish themselves there while I'm not allowed to go back. This system cannot be undone by a minority uh, population mm. that is uh, being persecuted, that is under uh, duress. This uh, racist regime mm. uh, of Zionist Israel will have to be dismantled by a much bigger change in the region. You side more along the, 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 the spectrum of ballot versus bullet there are no bullets mm. uh, the palestinians we are talking about in mm. 1948 they don't use bullets they they, they, mm. they don't use violence it's just that that some of them believe that the majority zionist jews mm. will not ever treat them as equal citizens so they say it's futile and actually time has proven mm. them to be right somehow 